the LG B20 user here, and today I'll be giving you guys my thoughts and depends on the Samsung Galaxy S8. The Samsung Galaxy S8 got announced by Samsung on Wednesday, March 29th. So the uh, Samsung is not here. This is the eighth generation of uh, the Galaxy S phones from Samsung, and I and yeah, this is crazy that this is the eighth generation. So um, it's pretty good. Um, so as you have to see here, I'm on GSMRunner.com. I'm giving you guys this. Specs like the specs and stuff, and you guys will want to think about the specs and the and and all that good stuff. And um, yeah, so as you have to see right there, the picture of the uh, of the Galaxy S8 moves in hand a little bit. And in my opinion, it looks beautiful. It looks gorgeous. It's 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 a fucking sexy ass phone. You know? No lie, sexy ass phone right here, man. Um, yeah. Um, so it looks like the uh. The screen, uh, the front of the phone looks nice as hell, and and uh, if you guys could, if you guys can probably tell, there's no uh, physical home button on this one because it all, because the S8 will have on-screen keys now, so I think it's a good. So that's really good there. Um, it looks like the power button and the volume button are on the left side of the phone, so that's good. If you guys prefer, prefer it, I, I mean, it don't matter to me. Um, cause I'm I'm used to I'm used to of having the power button on the back of my phone, cause I had it, I have it on my V20 obviously, and I had it on my G Stylo. Um, the power button was on the back on the two phones, but the power button on this one's on the side obviously, cause you know that's how Samsung has always done it with their all phones, with their flagship phones anyway. Uh, it, it's on the left side. I, I don't know how I would feel about that. I would have, I would have to get it um I would have to get an a Galaxy S8 and test it out and uh and check it out and see if I like the power button where it is or not. But it should be pretty good where it's at because it, it'd be uh you'd be able to uh, position your finger over it pretty well. Uh, so the S8 is supposed to get released April 21st, 2017, which is three weeks from Friday. So that's pretty good. I cannot wait for this phone. Uh, I'm excited about the S8 Plus. I'm. A, yeah, the S8 Plus has my attention, so, um, you know, yeah, um, so I hope I'll be getting that phone, the Galaxy S8 Plus, I hope I'll be getting that, uh, I may do a video on that phone too, um, so I'm just giving you guys a video on, on the Galaxy S8 right now, uh, like I said, it's supposed to release April 21st, 2017, uh, the phone weighs 155 grams, and it comes with Android 7.0 Nougat with Samsung's, uh, Touchers interface on there. 64 gigabytes of uh, internal memory, micro SD card slot. Uh, the Galaxy S8 this year has a 5.8 inch display, whereas the last three generations of the Galaxy S phones had a 5.1 inch display. This one finally bumps it up to fabric size, 5.8 inches, 1440 by 2960 pixels. So that's interesting uh, pixel resolution there. Uh, 12 megapixel refacing camera. Uh, it's probably gonna be the same camera as it was last year, but probably be a, a little bit better. It records 4K video, 4 gigabytes of RAM, something like an 835 from Qualcomm, and a 3000 milliamp battery. That's quick specs. We can show you guys pictures on the phone. Show you guys more pictures of, of, of the phone anyway. So here it is. Here it is the S8 up uh, a lot closer. And man, this phone is fucking, it's sexy as hell. I like this phone, man. Um, yeah, I just in the black version right now, and you'll be able to get the S8 in different colors. Um, on the top of the phone, uh, you have the earpiece, your front facing camera, and, uh, and other sensors of shit. It's supposed to have a little, like an iris scanner and all this shit, facial, facial recognition, all kinds of shit. Uh, like I mentioned uh, uh, a few minutes ago, power on the left side shows the volume buttons. Down here, you uh, have nothing. You might have a Samsung logo down there. Maybe, I don't know. It's hard to tell with, 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 with the black paint job. On the back of the Galaxy S8, you had your camera, your camera flash, Samsung logo, and your fingerprint sensor. I don't, I don't like where the fingerprint sensor is located. I don't like that. Because it could interfere with the camera if you uh get your hands over the camera, it might it it may uh smudge up the camera lens. So I don't know how that's gonna do well with that. 
Yeah, then they should have stuck the fingerprints since uh, uh, underneath the camera at least do that. I mean, next to the camera, that, that's just fucking stupid, man. That, that's just my opinion. And you got the Samsung logo, obviously. There's no Galaxy. No, there's no Galaxy. There's no Galaxy S8 branding, as far as I know. Here, the other color of the Galaxy S8 looks uh, like a uh, silverish color, a blue color, a. I don't know what's that supposed to look like, like a titanium color or whatever, and yeah, gold color. The gold guy says that same man looks nice, so I think my favorite cause is the gold one and the black one. So that's what the uh, fans look like, front and back in, in different colors. Let's get back to the specs here. Yeah, I'm excited about the S8 Plus though. Uh, so the S8 will support GSM, HSP, SP, HSPA, LTE, obviously, and CDMA, of course, and some of the every uh, major carrier out there, AT&T, T-Mobile, Sprint, Verizon, you, 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 U.S. Sailor. I got announced March 29th, like I just said earlier, coming out April 21st. The frame weighs 5.47 ounces, it has corner grid last five on the back, so they said that should be good with uh, uh, protection there, so. So if you drop the uh your access set you should be fine. Um it's a single sum. It's it's a uh it's nano sum. It, it takes nano sum cards. Um Samsung Pay of course, that's on there. because it, it's a Samsung phone. It, Samsung Pay supports Visa, MasterCard certified. It's IP sixty eight certification for dust and waterproof over one point five meters for thirty minutes. And of course, the Galaxy S8 has a Super AMOLED display of 5.8 inches, 83.6 screen to body ratio, 1440 by 2960 pixels with 500 PPI. Excuse me. Multi touch, of course. Cornering glitter glass 5 on the on the front as well. Um, you have 3D touch, home button only. So that kind of take a they. Kind of took an Apple feature and put it on this one, but it's for the home button. I'm not sure how that would work. I would have to look at some videos on that. It uh, has always on display, so if your phone's locked, if your phone's in sleep mode, you can, uh, um, your phone will, this thing will all, always be on one. So you, you'll, uh, you'll, uh, be able to see the, uh, time and notifications and other things. As touch as UI, like I've mentioned before. Hopefully they got better with touch switches because last Samsung phone I had they had touch was oh my god see reverb and that shit was like as a motherfucker. But hopefully they have the they have gotten better with touch was as Android some point in the of course. Uh there's two chipsets depending on what region you're in. If you're in the United States of America like I am, you'll be getting a Snapdragon eight thirty five Qualcomm processor. It's an octa core. If you're if you're anywhere else in the world, you're getting an Exynos 8895 Octa. For the U.S. Galaxy S8, it's an Octa Core processor. Uh, four cores at 2.35 gigahertz and four cores at 1.9 gigahertz. It's a Cairo chip set there. Uh, for the uh, Exynos chip, it's an Octa Core. It's four cores at 2.3 gigahertz and then four cores. At 1.7 gigahertz, it has a Juno 540 graphics GPU on the US model. Uh, memory card slot, uh, 256 gigabytes of micro SD cards, 64 gigabytes of internal memory, 4 gigabytes of RAM. So, um, 64 gigabytes will only be the, will only be the only storage option that you that you'll get. Um, I have 64 gigabytes of memory on my on my V20, and that's a lot of memory. There are two cameras on the Galaxy S8, of course, as you know. 12 megapixel rear facing camera with an 8.7 aperture lens, face detection, autofocus, uh, optical image stabilization, LED flash. The features of the camera has a f man, has a one and a half as I don't know it has sensor size. I can't I can't tell what that is. Uh, has pixel size and shit and has geotag and simultaneous 4K video and 9 megapixel image recording. So that's interesting. Touch focus, face, smile detection, auto HDR, panorama of course, 4K video, oops, let me go back, 
4K videos at 60 frames per second. That's pretty neat. 1080p videos at 120 frames per second. So some motion video there, I guess. HDR dual video recording or receiving or whatever. Dual video recording, I guess. Uh, so there's no 720p video on this phone. That's not an option. Um, so, yeah. So you, you get 4K videos at 60 frames per second. So, be pretty, so that should be pretty good. Um, so the front facing camera is 8 megapixels this time around. It has an f1.7 aperture lens. It has autofocus, dual video call, and auto HDR. And the videos, the, and videos on the front camera record in 1080p HD. A lot of types you get the vibrations and all that shit. Loudspeaker, yes. 3.5 men really have and jack, of course. 24 bit audio and the active noise cancellation in the dedication mic. It supports Wi Fi 8211, ABGN, and AC dual band. Wi Fi direct hotspot, Bluetooth 5.0. So, this is the first phone to have Bluetooth 5.0. So, that should do. Um, one is with Bluetooth now, uh, low energy. So this is the first one that has Bluetooth 5.0, so that's fucking insane. My V20 has Bluetooth 4.2, so n not too far behind. Um, GPS, of course, NFC, of course, to do Android Pay and other things like that. Uh, radio, no. But if you sprint version, I think you'll have an FM radio on there, I guess, I don't know. Yeah, USB 3.1 Type C 1.0 reversible connected say it is USB Type C. Uh, it is an iris scanner like I uh, mentioned earlier in the video. Uh, fingerprint sensor on the rear back on the on the back where the camera is. I don't like where the fingerprint center is situated. I don't like where it's uh, located because it could interfere with the camera and it could smudge up of the camera lens. Man, Samsung should have put the a uh, fingerprint scanner underneath the camera, at least, man. Yeah, that's the only thing I don't like about the phone is what is where the fingerprint scanner is located. Um, you yeah, had a set of barometer, gyro, proximity, compass, barometer, heart rate, and SPO2. What the fuck that is? So this does have a heart rate monitor and all that. So, um, I would not, I would not trust this for accuracy on the heart rate monitor if you need. Uh, to get accurate, um, get accurate uh, heart rate information, go to your doctor. So I would not trust the you get Galaxy S L night. I would not trust that. So if you need a, you know, if you want to check your heart rate and all that, go to your doctor. So yeah, um, it's him off our browser. If I have Google Chrome on there, if I have Samsung browser on there, maybe, or if I just have Google Chrome, I'm not sure. Uh, Java has a whole bunch of shit on here. Um, it supports Samsung Dex, which is that, which is a desktop expansion support, which is pretty cool. Um, fast battery charging, it has wireless charging. Um, it has Q and PMA wireless charging support. ANT support, ANT plus support. I'm not sure what that is. It has S voice, S voice native language, native language. Command and detection. Uh, they still got fucking S voice on, on this motherfucker, dude. S voice is fucking terrible. Um, but they're supposed to have this uh, um, assistant thing called it's such with damn B. I can't pronounce the name. It's B I X B Y. Supposed to have that on there. Um, I don't know if S voice is on there or not. Hopefully S voice not on there. Cause dude, S voice is so fucking a long time ago, and S voice was terrible. It was never good. So you have MP3, MP4 player, and all that shit. Photo, video editor, document editor. Non removable 3000 man battery. So you can't remove the battery because the waterproofing and all that shit. So if you guys want to uh, get extra juice on the phone, you have to buy your power pack. Um, so just skip it out of mind. So it, doesn't, it has fast battery charging. I don't know if it's Qualcomm Quick Charge. It doesn't say it has it on here. But you never know. Uh, the Galaxy S8 comes in a slew of colors. Midnight Black, Orchard, Gray, Arctic Silver, Core Blue, and Maple Gold. The black one and the gold one are my favorite. Um, the blue one, I would never get a blue phone. Ugh. Nah, that, 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 I just wouldn't. Yeah, man. The S8 
is now here. It's been announced. It's from now April 21st, 2017. It's coming to all the major carriers out there, including the U.S. Sailor. Also, two prepaid carriers has also announced the Galaxy S8, Cricket Wireless, and Straight Talk. Now, I, I'm pretty. I know. I know for a fact that Mitch PCS, Beast Mobile, Virgin Mobile, uh, and other prepaid carriers will get the S8. But Cricket Wireless and Straight Talk has announced that they will be carrying the Galaxy S8 Plus. Um, if you guys want to pre-order, um, the prices on the Galaxy S8 is is ridiculous. People are saying it's uh, overpriced. I uh, personally, eh, it depends on who you asked. Uh, the Galaxy S8 is $750, so uh, to keep that in mind, so that's a hefty price. Last year, the S7 was 650 when it came out, I think. So the S8 is 750 to start for the S8, and $100 more for the S8 Plus. Cause that's the final one. It's the S8 Plus. The S8 Plus has, has my attention. Cause I'm never buying another LG phone again. Cause I'm having, to, I'm having a lot of issues with my V20. And dude, LG fucked up on this phone. So that's why I'm. Uh, that's why I'm. I'm gonna, that's why. I'm, that's why my next one's gonna be a Samsung phone. And hopefully it'll be the S8. That would be my next one. Hopefully, um, we'll see. But you know. Yeah, man, this is a nice phone. It's a sexy ass phone, gorgeous and all that. It's pretty good specs. It has pretty good features like the iris scanner. I'm not sure how, how this one work and all that. The fingerprint scanner. The only thing I don't like about the fucking phone, yo, is where the fingerprint scanner is located. It's located next to the camera, uh, and that is gonna be a problem because if you're trying to fucking like, you know, unlock the phone or whatever, it's gonna get in the way of the camera and it may smudge up the camera lens. So, I mean, Samsung, Samsung did an epic show on that. I think Samsung should have put it, that shit underneath the camera at least or something. Because where it's located, it's, no, man. I don't like where it's located. I really don't like that. I think it's a fail. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, it's nice that it has a fingerprint scanner, you know. Because I probably use that motherfucker. Because I, I used to be, I, I used the, uh, fingerprint scanner on my V20 and it's great. But the fingerprint scan where it's at, and next to the, man, why would Samsung do that? I don't know why they put it there. Hopefully the Galaxy S9 will have the fingerprint scanner somewhere else. So we'll see about next year's Galaxy S phone. We'll see. Um, yeah, so like I said, man, the Galaxy S8 will be $750. It's only one storage option, 64 gigabytes. And I heard that China is supposed to get a 6 gigabyte, uh, Galaxy S8. I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not. Um, I don't know if that's true or not. Um, so if China gets a six go by Galaxy S8, I, I'm gonna be fucking pissed because you know fuck China. So you know. Um, and I also was saying before the uh, S8 got announced that there'd be a 128 gigabyte uh, Galaxy S8. Uh, I don't think that's true, but who knows? It could come at a later time. But there's a 64 gigabyte. Uh, S8, and that's what the base model is. So, 64 gigabytes is printed memory. I have 64 gigabytes on my V20, and I have over 45 gigabytes left on my V20. So, you know, 64 gigabytes is plenty for me anyway. But more storage is better, in my opinion. So, yeah, and the micro SD card is a definite win. With 256 gigabytes of micro SD card expansion, it's a definite win. Um, you know, the colors I would get if I, if I get this phone, if I get a Galaxy S8 Plus. I would get a black one or a gold one. Um, it, I guess it depends on what care you have. If you, um, if you're on prepaid, I guess you're fucked because you only get like one or two colors. But if you're on postpaid, like Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile, Spain, or you, 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 USA, you, you might be able to get a multitude of colors. So, um, yeah. So if I if I if I get that S8 Plus, my two choices of colors would be the black one or the gold one. Because the blue phone, nah, nah, nah. Yeah, the specs on this phone are pretty good, like I said. Uh, the iris scanner is interesting. I don't know what that does exactly. Um, I really ain't paying too much attention about it. Um, But, yeah, like I said, it's come to all the major carriers out there. It'll be released April 21st. Uh, Pre-orders. Do you guys want to pre-order Galaxy S8? 
Uh, you know what? You can. You can do it uh, starting tomorrow, April 30th. Um, pre-orders will, be, will begin for the Galaxy S8. And once you pre-order the Galaxy S8, you'll, be, you'll get a free Gear VR headset and uh, I think Bluetooth headphones, which I, I think so. So you'll, uh, if you pre-order the S8, you'll get a free Gear VR headset, which is uh, pretty dope. And uh, free Bluetooth headphones, I believe so. So that's uh, pretty cool. And like I said earlier, the S8 is $750. So keep that in mind. But if you're on T-Mobile, AT&T, Sprint, Verizon, and you're a you, sailor, you, you'll be able to get this phone on the payment plan. So if you guys don't want to buy this phone out, right? You, 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 you guys can get this phone on a payment plan and do it there. But if you guys want to buy it out, right? Like I said, it's seven hundred and fifty dollars. So keep that in mind. Um. So if you guys, yeah, man, I, I'm excited about the phone, man. The SA Plus has my attention, like I said, so, um, yeah. The only difference between the SA, the only difference between the SA and the SA Plus is the battery and the screen size, but other than that, the two frames are pretty much similar in specs and everything else, man. So, if you guys, man, yeah, if you guys have the V20 right now, or any LG recent, recently, if you guys have any LG phone, I suggest that you guys... Drop LG and get a Galaxy S8 or an S8 Plus, cause dude, um, I don't know if the uh, G6 will have the boot loop issue or not, cause my V20 has a boot loop issue, the G5 has another recent LG flagship, man. And I'm never buying, I'm never buying an LG flagship phone again. My next phone is gonna be a Samsung phone. Hopefully it's a Galaxy S8 Plus. I'm never buying LG. I'm never buying LG phones again. Fuck you, LG. You fucked up on your phones. You need to uh, man the fuck up and fix your shit. If you want people to buy your shit, you need to uh, fix this shit. And, um, yeah, man, that's why my next phone going to be a Samsung phone. Hopefully, Galaxy S8 Plus. And I hope that Samsung's reputation will get restored from the Note 7 fiasco. And I hope people will have more. I hope people will have. I hope people will start to trust Samsung again after the Note 7 fiasco. And hopefully, the S8 and the S8 Plus will get Samsung back on track. And hopefully, sales of, of, of the S8 and the S8 Plus will be good numbers and all that. So, um, you know, hopefully this will help Samsung out. Um, so, yeah, my next phone is going to be a Samsung phone. I don't know what phone it will be. Hopefully the S8 Plus. Because that's the phone I want. And that's the phone that has my attention. Um, so, you know, yeah, pre-orders for the Galaxy S8. Galaxy S8. So, tomorrow, March 30th. And if you guys pre-order the uh, S8, you guys will get a free Gear VR headset. And a free Bluetooth headphones, I believe so. So, that's pretty good. Um, so, uh, yeah. So, it, the SA has, ni it has, it has nice features on it. The iris scanner is interesting. And the, uh, Samsung, uh, uh, assistant thing, uh, voice assistant thing is interesting. It starts with the B. It's B-I-X-B-Y. I can't pronounce the name. So, um, yeah. Uh, so that, I guess that's pretty much it on, on, on the Galaxy S8, guys. Um, just to recap, the Galaxy S8. Pre-order starts tomorrow, March 30th. It'll be released everywhere, um, April 21st. Um, it'll be $750 if you want to buy it outright. If you want to pay it in the payment plan, check your carrier for that. They'll all uh, have you out with that. So, um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, guys. It really helps me out a lot. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching my video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.